Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a glass material with a caustic shadow. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, press Shift A and uh, add a UV sphere, no cylinder, a cylinder and uh, change the vertices to 32. Uh, now go to edit mode and select these faces, these faces and delete them uh, and select these edges and press 1 go to front view and scale it a little bit uh, and also move it uh, a little bit by pressing ctrl uh, ctrl z and go back and select these edges and pr press double g and press c now i can slide uh, these edges and uh, select these edges and scale them down a little bit now we can uh, add we should add a thickness to this object because uh, a glass material has a thickness so press a and alt e to give it a thickness now you can see we can give it a little bit thickness you can see i can give it around this around minus 0 0.1 now i can select these edges ctrl r and give an edge loop and press alt s to move it along their normals now uh, the next thing is i can go to this mode and press 1 select these edges and move them in the just a little bit to make it a little bit thick the lower part now we can give uh, them we can give them uh, an edge loop around here so that we can add uh, a subdivision surface modifier so i can add an edge loop around here and here you can see and also here yeah now i can insert this face a little bit insert it and uh, this face also press 3 and insert this now uh, again scale it down just a little bit and add an edge loop supporting the loop uh, so that it doesn't make any problem when we add a subdivision surface now we can uh, see we have added this uh, we have made this class and add a subdivision surface modifier and add uh, up to two now you can see it is perfectly glass now press one first uh, grab in the z and press ctrl press and hold ctrl to snap it to the grid now you can see it has perfectly snapped to the x grid now uh, we need to go to edit mode and uh, we need to check if there is any flipped edges uh, you can see we have many flipped edges and press a and shift n to flip them again now we can uh, disable that now we can add a plane by pressing shift a and scale it down scale it up a little bit and go to edit mode and select this edge and extrude in this direction uh, now we can select this edge and ctrl b to bevel it and also press a and scale in the x direction a little bit now we have uh, set up the, the objectives now the next thing is i'm going to add shade smooth both the objectives now uh, i can go to this tab and change this to shader editor and assign normal material to the plane and add a glass material to the glass object and uh, in order to add a glass material i'm going to delete this object and shift a and in a shader add a glass base def 
and uh, add add it to the surface the ir is uh, fine since the ir effect glass is 1.45 we are good to go so the next thing is adding the light first i'm going to change this to cycles and change the device to gpu mode now the next thing is uh, first i'm going to check if there is any flip to so there is no flip tvs now we are going to disable this and add a light an area light and press one and move it in the z direction and again move it in the x direction and rotate it in the y now we have set up the lighting now we are going to go to this mode and change the port to about 20,000 and uh, enable this mode shadow caustics uh, if we disable this it will not add any caustics to the glass material so we need to enable this so if you go to this uh, material preview the light is too high instead of ma making 20,000 I'm going to make it 2,000 uh, and let us add HDRI. I'm going to add Shift A texture and image environment texture. Now I'm going to add this HDRI texture. I've linked this uh, in the description. So I'm going to select this. Uh, now I can add this into the HDRI. Now you can see uh, the glass, we have made a perfect glass material, but it does not have caustics, but we enabled the in the light. So in order to fix this, we need to select this glass material and in the material properties, go to shading. And uh, this is the new feature of Blender 3.2. So in this uh, part, select this and cast the shadow and select the play material and receive shadow now you can see uh, there is a change it is casting a shadow you can see uh, we have casted the shadow and we have also perfectly made this glass material so this is how you make a glass material with caustics thanks for watching uh, bye